Carl Troop, you're going to be representing the USA for a sixth consecutive year at the Weber Cup. How special is that? Six years. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty crazy to think about. You know, I can still remember my first time over across the pond uh, with Parker and those guys. And, and uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to coming back. The Weber Cup is such a prestigious, special event. Uh, you know, I was getting pumped the other week watching the Ryder Cup. I was like just the blood was pumping, getting ready, wanted to get over across the pond, get back and compete in the Weber Cup. You've had a pretty special 12 months since claiming the third straight USA victory <clears throat> in Coventry last year. What can fans really expect from you now? Because it seems like you're just only getting better by the day, seemingly. Uh, well, the fans can definitely expect a, a few more strikes from me. Uh, I didn't quite have my best performance last year. Uh, luckily, the team was able to get it done, like you said. Uh, the fro will be a lot larger. I was working out today, fans, so no worries. Plenty of picks coming, but, you know, uh, it's been quite an evolution the last 12 months. You know, uh, I've improved a lot mentally, uh, physically. My physical game has changed a lot. Uh, I would almost say I'm a completely different bowler, you know, but uh, the show the show is still going to go on. You know, I'm looking forward to entertaining for the wonderful fans that we're going to have over there, uh, hopefully rooting for us and Europe. You know, it's such an amazing time, and, and uh, we're going to be bringing the heat, though. It's good to hear that the throw is still uh, remaining and coming back yeah. to the web. But I hear that at the moment you're going for a bit of a training camp at the moment, getting ready, getting ready to go. Yeah, I'm actually down here in uh, Orlando, Florida, working with Sean Ryan, one of our uh, Storm Tour reps, for a few days. Uh, took a little bit of time off after the summer tour at the end of August uh, to kind of refresh the mind, you know, reset mentally. Uh, it was a long eight months on the road with very few weekends off. So, you know, I was uh, working on my golf game a little bit, but that still sucks. So I've been back to the lanes, uh, you know, practicing up, getting ready, making sure to represent USA well. Representing USA well is something you've done very well indeed over the last few years. In particular, the, the percentages speak for themselves. But you're going to that team as one of the most experienced members, two new players into the mix as well. What can we expect from those guys? Uh, well, I think you can expect a very great first performance from both of the gentlemen. Uh, Chris By. You know, he's come into his own this year. He's had probably the best year of his, of his career. Uh, the man bowls 300 almost every time he's under the TV lights. So uh, uh, I think Europe might be worried about a 300 game from Chris Bai. And then Tom Doherty, you know, uh, probably the best year of his career. And, you know, he has experience, you know, on the lanes, obviously not with the Weber Cup. But, you know, we've got a great chemistry with the guys. We're really excited to, to add Chris and Tom to myself, Barnes and Simo. Uh, really looking forward to it. We've been doing a lot of talking and communicating beforehand. And, you know, we're ready to get together, you know, get the team together and really start game planning and, you know, make a week of it. What is it like having Barnes as captain? It's the best. You no, know, he's old, he's grumpy sometimes, but you know what? He's the man. You know, uh, the amount of experience that he brings to the team and the leadership skills that he provides, uh, it really just gives us the confidence to want to compete, be the best that we can, you know, put on the show for the fans. But, more importantly, you know, try and bring this Weber Cup back home to the United States again. You've obviously won those three on the bounce. Last year was a pretty special performance. That 6-1 hammer in the first session really set things up nicely for you guys. Is it the same sort of mentality you're going to go out there and just hit as hard as you can and, and try and make light work of it, hopefully? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the, the thing is, you know, because we've been really excited about the team and and getting back out there, but we don't really, we try not to look forward. You know, the goal is to get out, have a good Baker game to start, I would imagine, like normal. Uh, you know, and we just take it one match at a time. You know, I think that's something that's really helped us in the past is not getting caught up on session goals and such like that. We we take it one match at a time. We game plan for each individual match. And, you know, I think you're just going to see continue, you know, a continued success of Team USA with that being said. And, uh, you know, Best of luck to Europe. You say about the taking it match by match, but what for you is your, your favourite part of the Weber Cup? Is it the Baker match or is it the doubles or when you get to go one-on-one -on -one with some of the guys that obviously you bowl with or and against on a regular basis from Europe? Uh, well, the one thing I do look forward to is, def you know, the fans, you know, that the environment uh, that, that comes with the Weber Cup. You know, uh, last year, you know, being a little different, it was – you know, a, a different scene for us, but to be able to get back and be under the TV lights on the one lane, the Weber Cup lane, uh, you know, and throw that first strike for Team USA, it's just a whole different feeling when you get to represent a country. And, you know, i uh, looking forward to seeing my boy Jesper. It's been a while. I've seen he got a little bit of a funky looking haircut a while back, so I'm not sure if 
if he's fixed that mop on his head. But, you know, it's going to be good to see my brother and uh, compete with the guys. But, you know, really, really looking forward to seeing the fans and putting on a show for them. Putting on a show is something that could say is in your DNA as a bowler and the way that you act, your whole demeanor out there. You see it week in, week out. Would you say, you, you said you watched the Ryder Cup a few weeks ago. What would you say, if you were looking at sort of a, a legend of another sport, what would you say your role is in the team? You, if you were a European, you could perhaps say you're the impulter. Um, but what would you say more is your sort of role within that team? You know, um, I guess I'm not quite as strong as Bryson, but, you know, I definitely think Bryson is the uh, the crowd guy. You know, he pumps them up. You know, that's, you know, I want to be the electric guy, bring a little electricity and energy to the team. You know, we are, uh, you know, big team energy. So, you know, that's kind of my role. Um, I, I love seeing Patrick Cantlay getting super pumped up, you know, so just the whole emotions of the event, you know, I'm sure it's going to be bringing out of me full force. Uh, but I would say I'll probably be the, you know, the energy. Let's bring the energy for the team and hopefully bring some strikes for them as well. The final question for yourself, Carl, is over the years, you've played so many great matches, whether that's in Baker, single or doubles. Is there any match in particular, though, that stands out where you look at it and go, wow, that, that was pretty special? You know, uh, it's got to be the Baker 300, you know, uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, my parents were there, too, so that was pretty special for me, uh, you know, being that I lost my mom a few years ago. So I really remember that. But just to, to do his, to set history in the Weber Cup and uh, Jacob Butcher throwing that strike in the tent. You know, I remember the picture of us all celebrating, running up there to grab him. It was, you know, such a special moment. It was a big, you know, momentum moving forward for us as well. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, match that, bowl another perfect game, really rock the house and get the Weber Cup started on a good note. Starting on a good note, is it going to end on that Saturday night with that trophy being packed up and heading back to America? Oh, it's going to be ending with a beautiful tune uh, with USA, maybe singing We Are the Champions. We're going to bring the cup back. Uh, we're going for the four-peat, guys. So best of luck, Europe. Bring your A-plus game.